Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Teenage Night and I'm here for week 7 of Riker Sterling's freshman season. This week is probably the biggest game so far this season against number 11 Texas who is 5-0. We are number 7 at 4-1, and one. our only loss is in Notre Dame. Right now they are picking us to win the game. In case you did not watch last video, we did beat TCU 35-38. to um, It's not as close as that game sounds. The defense played really bad there at the end. But let's go ahead and check the Heisman watch real quick just to see if we're up there. I highly doubt we are. Holy crap, we're at the top. What? Okay, then. So we have a chance to win the Heisman as a true freshman, which I don't think has ever been done. Actually, I know that's never been done since the only freshman to ever win it was Manziel, and that was a redshirt freshman. But anyway, let's get into this huge game. Okay, here we go. We get the ball to start, so we get to set the tone. So Maj Piran in the back, but we're coming out in shotgun. Last week, I only threw one incomplete pass, and that was a pick. Let's see if today we, we can do the same exact thing. And first pass of the game, I'm going to get sacked. Never mind. I thought I had enough time to get that off. Samaje so was streaking down the right side of the field, and I thought I'd be able to hit him in stride for it's an easy six right there, but I guess not. And now second and 16. And, yeah, we're going to throw that comeback route to D.D. Westbrook. Please break a tackle, 11-yard game. If we ever have a receiver in the four years that we're going to be at this school ever break a tackle on a route like that, they are going to be gone. And what the heck kind of weird... Okay, whatever. Anyway, Deron Neal was in the slot and he was circled. That that confused me for a second because X was running down the sideline. I'm not used to that. And I, I almost tossed it to X because I thought Deron was X. So that would have been horrible because I think that would have been picked off. But first and 10 coming out in shotgun now and taking the snap. And yeah, really, you're going to you're gonna leave a QB spy on me that's that slow. And I'm going to juke out those guys and still get an extra few yards. A 30-yard gain. If you're going to leave a QB spy on me, you've got to have a lot faster linebackers. First and 10. Coming out in shotgun, read option time, and we're going to fake it to Mixon, keep it ourselves. Juke out that safety. I guess we're really not, but... And we're going to get a 7-yard gain. Three carries for 31 yards on the opening possession, and I've thrown one pass. And Westbrook's outside. Depending on how that safety reacts... Okay, never mind. I thought that, thought that DB was going to react different, but first and goal, 12-yard gain to Jarvis Baxter. Okay, first and goal, coming out in shotgun, we're going to give it to Samaje, and we're going to count on him to get into the end zone. I mean, it's still first and goal, so we still got three plays, but Samaje down inside the five, a six-yard gain on the play. And now Mixon's in the game, and we're going to run the same exact play pretty much. So Mixon, now it's your job to get into the end zone. And Mixon to the outside, and he is stuffed for a zero-yard gain, third and goal. And now Coach wants to pass the ball. Which I'd be okay with if we, you know, we're coming out of play action, but it's just shotgun, so we'll have to see how this goes. Um, I really don't like how this play is going. I don't see anybody open, and I'm going to take off. And Sterling's into the end zone. Touchdown Sooners, early 7-0 lead. So, first and 10, Texas has an injury. In case you saw that on the bottom, I have no idea what position he plays or anything. But first and 10 out of shotgun. Samaje in the backfield. And, all right, I don't like where, I don't like where that safety is, but I like where Sterling Shepard is. Wide open over the middle. And that's an easy 30-yard gain. Okay, so that's Shepard's first catch today. Uh, Deron Neal, I think, has caught one pass today, right? He had a pretty good first half last week. And now no one's covering... Uh, that's Baxter. Okay, I thought it was Shepard for a second. But 24-yard gain. See, when I have a fast quarterback, you really can't play zone against me because I will just scramble around until my receivers find an opening in that zone. But now first and 10 in shotgun. Baxter in the slot. And... Okay, never mind. Oh, my God, we fumbled. Please... Really? No one from OU can freaking recover that. Okay, so let's look at this. So one, I probably should have thrown this ball. And I probably shouldn't have got sacked. But look at this. How do you miss the ball by that much? He dove two yards away from the freaking football. And then look at Orlando Brown over here. He's trying to dive for it. He gets nowhere freaking near it. Okay, so our defense is able to hold. We get the ball at the three-yard line. We're up by seven. But uh, let's see if we can get out of this situation here. Hand off to Dimitri Flowers, and Flowers is stuffed for a zero-yard gain. Okay, so now we're going to throw the ball. Baker's out there at receiver. So this is going to get real interesting. I don't like throwing the ball in this situation. Um, I really don't like throwing the ball in this situation. Just throw it away. First and complete pass because that's a horrible freaking play call. That play works down inside their goal line, not ours. Third and ten now. Hand off to Flowers, and Flowers, you're not getting this first down. Three-yard gain. Okay, so all Texas got out of it was a field goal, so we are still up 7-3, to three, coming out in pistol, and we're still going to obviously be throwing the ball a crap ton probably. 
And holy crap, that corner is fast. They brought a corner on a blitz, and I still got to the outside for a six-yard gain. Second and four, Samaje in the backfield. And we're going to see how this goes. It's a halfback draw right up the middle. Please, everyone block. Okay, everyone block. And he got the first down and ran through a Texas player in the process. Eight-yard gain. Okay, so a few games ago, we ran this play, but it was a screen pass. This is the fake screen for it, and everybody goes deep except, like, D.D. Westbrook. So um, we're going to see how well this play goes here. And, yep, don't like the way that's looking, so just dump it off to Samaje. And Samaje is still able to fight for it for a two-yard gain. Okay, second and eight, we're going to give it to Samaje to go right up the middle one more time. Everyone, please block. Okay, good. We got the first down. Oh, we got a little bit more, too. 15-yard gain from Samaje. I mean, if he's going to run like that, we can keep giving him the ball, Stoops. Like, why would you not keep running the ball at that point? First and ten out of shotgun. Rolling out to the right side. I know there were probably people open there, but I didn't see them. And we stepped out of bounds. Zero-yard gain. Great. First and 10, Westbrook on the outside, but I don't like making that pass all the way across the field. And, wow, we have a few people open, kind of, but I don't want to risk any passes, really. Right there. And Samaje still got the first down. Okay. And now we're injured. Great. Okay, so I missed a good majority of the game, but Baker Mayfield did lead them to a touchdown. So now it's 14-3, to and we have the ball. Our defense only plays good against, you know, decent teams. That's... That's so odd. Like, our defense let up um, how many? They let up, like, 35 to Tulsa, 35 to ULM, and then to Texas, who was ranked number 11. They've let up a grand total of three. And now going downfield, a wide open. I don't even know who that was. Was that Shepard? Yeah, it was. Okay, so we ran the four vert to this play earlier, but now we're actually running the screen pass. I mean, either way, I dumped it off to Samaje. But first to 10, Sim P run in motion. And as soon as we get the snap, just throw it out to Pirine. There we go. And he can't break any tackles. That's a loss of one. So we're going to run another screen. Bob, what are you doing? Second and 11. Screen pass to Samaje. Here we go. And just dump that off to Samaje. Samaje gets to the outside, please. Six-yard gain. I was going to say, please get the first down, but I'll take a six-yard gain, I guess. Didn't we run this exact same play earlier in the drive? This is the one where I hit Shepard, like, deep. I guess, I guess we're going to run it again. And, oh no, I didn't mean to throw that. Thank God it was just incomplete. I, like, barely touched that button. I didn't I didn't even think I touched it. I didn't think it registered. Okay, I have no idea what Stoops is doing. He wants us to go for it on fourth down. Coach, can we just kick field goal? Can Cyber not make a 47-yard field goal in this game? Okay, whatever. Go to Deron Neal. I'll take the first down. 14-yard game. Get off me! First and 10 in shotgun. Mixon and P. Ryan both in the backfield. Play action of PR and roll out to the right side. Try to find someone open, please. Find someone open. Whatever, we're taking off. And break the tackle. Okay, we didn't break it, but we fought for extra yards. Seven-yard gain. <laughs> I'm going to get freaking injured again. Okay, second and three. Um, who's in the slot there? Jeffrey Mead. And then we got Andrews, and we got Westbrook on the outside. But P. Ryan's going on a wheel route, and he's pretty open. And Samaje's into the end zone. Touchdown Sooners. And now we start from our own nine-yard line, but the defense did hold them again. So it's 21 to 3. So it looked pretty good on us to beat the number 11 team in the country by a lot, right? And now a slant route to Jarvis Baxter, and he's got the first down, a 17 yard gain. These past couple games, I've taken care of the ball pretty well, I think. So first and 10, um, we're running five wide. I have no idea why, but that's what we're doing. And comeback route to Shepard. Break that tackle. Okay. 14 yard gain, first down. Like I said, if we have one receiver that just, like, tells the defensive back to F off and just pushes him away, he's gone. First and ten. Here we go. Now in shotgun. Oh, God, what the heck. Great blocking, guys. That's just... In case you couldn't tell, I was clapping there. Deron Neal's injured. He's got a strained back, and he's out for three weeks. What? When did he get injured? Well, crap. Okay, second and 20. Here we go. To the outside, and that's caught by Shepard. He's got a 19-yard gain on the play. I seriously have no idea when Deron Neal got injured. Like, if you guys notice it, let me know, but I seriously didn't notice it. Maybe he got injured whenever Baker was in. But anyway, third and two. And, yep, read option. I'll take that easy first down. And probably, yeah. I don't have great carrying. I really just need to slide there. Because if I fumble here, I am probably in big trouble. Okay, first and ten. Going to run another read option. And they're still going to read some object. What the heck? Okay, I tried. I didn't hit it soon enough, but I tried to slide there. I was more in shock that Westbrook just got freaking bowled over by that DB. Second and two. I wonder if... Uh, I doubt we'll get this playoff. Send a guy in motion. Wait, we might. Okay, yeah, we got off with two seconds to go. Uh, who in the world is that? But they are wide open and one-yard gain. Awesome. 
they were wide open. I just overthrew them slightly. So, one yard gain. Third and one in shotgun. I got both running backs in the backfield. Now rolling out to the right side again. I roll out a lot. I'm noticing that today. But anyway, first down, and I tried to dive. But four yard gain. I mean, I tried to slide, but then Sterling tried to dive. I sometimes hold the button too long, I guess. First and ten, P. Ryan in the backfield, D.D. Westbrook on the outside, Baxter in the slot. You know, Baxter's been playing pretty well. Maybe we're not going to miss too much from Deron Neal. But there we go, D.D. Westbrook has the first down, down the sideline, and down inside the ten, right? Okay, so this was the exact same play that we ran the touchdown pass on earlier. And I'm wondering if Samaj is going to get as open again. No, he's not. And we're getting sacked. I should have thrown that away. And we're injured again! And we were out the rest of the game. I don't even know. I guess we won because they're celebrating. What was the final score? Play of the game is apparently touchdown pass to Samaje. I have no idea how. But what in the world was the final score? I mean, I guess we won because they were celebrating, but it was moving so fast I didn't get to tell. From what it looked like is Texas tried to make a freaking comeback. Okay, so Baker's celebrating. So we definitely won. We I know we won, so we beat Texas. So we're going to at least stay at number 7, hopefully. Since we beat the number 11 team in the country, we should. But we were up 21-3, to right? And Riker Sterling still gets player of the game, 17 of 19. Uh, but Baker gets to put on the hat. God dang it. See, that, that's the one thing I like playing about Texas, is they have that animation where your quarterback puts on the hat. What was the final score, though? That'd be real nice to know. 24-17. to that was the final score. Are you kidding me? We were up 21-3 to with like five minutes to go. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy we won. But we should have won by a lot more. But here are going to be the stats for today. Sterling, 17-19, of 19, 258 yards and a touchdown. Mayfield, 5-14, of 14, 56 yards and a pick. Yeah, it's a freaking miracle that we won that game. Rushing, uh, 13 for 41. P. Ryan, 12 for 64 and a touchdown. We did have a rushing touchdown. Mayfield, 8 of 6. So it's definitely not the Mayfield from real life. P. Ryan, six carries, or six receptions, 44 yards and a touchdown. Shepard, five catches, 115 yards and a touchdown. Okay, so we jump all the way up to number five in the rankings. We are five and one. Our next opponent is Kansas, and we know who they picked to win this one. How is their pass defense? Number 99. We're number 126. That's awesome. That, all, that kind of stuff always happens in Road to Glory, though. But anyway, let's go top 25 polls. Just see who's above us. We have number one, Auburn, number two, Arizona, number three, Notre Dame. They lost at some point. Number four, Oregon, and then us. So there's only two undefeated teams left in the country, and it's Auburn and Arizona. And I'm assuming, yeah, I can't talk. I'm assuming Arizona's going to lose at some point. Have they played anybody yet? Like any good teams? They have, oh, well, they did play USC and beat them. They still have a pretty tough schedule, and Oregon and Arizona will play each other at one point. So we still have national championship hopes, but if we lose another one, those are dead. And also, we're going to need some help from other people. Like, Auburn's probably going to need to lose. Um, uh, Notre Dame's probably going to need to lose another one. Oregon, Arizona, one of those two. Uh, I think we can still make it, but we'll have to see. I want to see who Notre Dame lost to. Who in the world beat them? Oh, they lost before us. Yeah, they lost to Michigan. Okay, now I remember that. But anyway... Hopefully you guys, uh, no, I'm not going to end the episode yet. We're going to go look at the Heisman watch one more time. Because I was surprised we were at the top of it. Are we still at the top of it? No, we are not. We are now number third. Number third. Number three. Uh, we have Presley and right above us. Wow, what the heck? Halfback, halfback, quarterback, halfback, halfback. That is not like real life. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, next game, we're playing Kansas. And since our defense likes to play horrible against bad teams... Just expect that we're probably going to get into a close game. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys next time.